Lockton Double Back, you're on belay. Lawrence Stoker started rock climbing over nine years ago, and now he shares his passion with others as one of many volunteers at Hill Air Force Base's gym. Indoor climbing, you get the workout, uh, you get the feeling of accomplishment when you reach the top, and you can always push your boundaries by eliminating certain holds on the wall to make it harder. Uh, outside, you get the exposure, you get uh, the ability to actually be outside, and um, uh, I really like that part. The greenery, the wildlife, uh, and just no two climbing experiences outside are ever the same. Lawrence volunteers as a belay certifier and says that anyone can do rock climbing, no matter what height or build a person is. They only need the drive to do it and the motivation to get very fit. Climbing works a different set of muscles that are usually a little more difficult to work out uh, in a regular gym. Namely, your fingers and your forearms are going to see the brunt of exercise. Uh, some estimates have rock climbing at upwards of 900 calories per hour. I think that's probably a little bit more than most because there's enough rest in, in the middle. But if you were consistently climbing for an hour without stopping, that would probably be an accurate estimate. The base gym has all the climbing equipment as well as a pool of volunteers to show first timers the ropes. Uh, if you want to climb here, send us an email at 75fss.climbing at hill.af.mil. We'll get you lined up to be at Belay certified, and then you can climb here whenever the gym is open. For climbers who want to hook up with others like Lawrence, there's a group Facebook page connecting people of all skill levels to share the hot local spots outside and have a Belay buddy on the inside. Technical Sergeant Jenna Armstrong, Hill Air Force Base, Utah. Awesome.